Hi everyone, I'm Jill Boston, Director here at Incremental Group for Dynamic C65 Business Central. I'm joined by Umar Barry from Microsoft who is a Cloud Architect and Business Central Evangelist. And today Umar and I are going to answer your questions on Business Central as well as let you see it in action. So Dynamic C65 Business Central is an all-in-one business application for small and medium-sized businesses and it connects your finance and operations in a modern ERP solution. So Business Central is a cloud ERP application to help you support your finance function. But it does more than that. It's an all-in-one business management solution which supports multiple different business processes through functionality such as sales, your CRM, warehouse management, service management, and also some reporting and analytics. There are three licenses available for Business Central in the cloud, and licenses are provided on a subscription basis per user per month. Firstly, you have an essential license, which covers the core capability of Business Central and is £53 per month. Secondly, you have a premium license for which you get all of the core capability as well as service management and manufacturing and the premium license is £75 a month. And lastly, you have a team member license and for £6 a month you get read-only access and approvals. So Business Central is the next generation of a previous solution called Dynamics NAV. Uh, and Dynamics NAV is a, an offering that was available over the last 30 years. Uh, it's got over 300,000 customers worldwide uh, and users of Business Central will recognize some of the functionality and some of the processes based on Dynamics now. As you know, Business Central is for small and medium-sized businesses. We typically work with customers who are moving from legacy solutions, and by that, for example, I mean an accounting package or an on-premise solution, which may be costly to upgrade. And these customers recognize the benefits that a cloud solution, as well as a modern ERP solution will bring to them now, as well as in the future. And we also work with customers who are growing. These are customers who need that stable platform to allow growth of their business, as well as a solution that will grow with them. So with Business Central being in the cloud, it is a web-based application, meaning you can access your organization's key information anywhere, anytime, whether that be through the mobile phone, your tablet, or your PC. So artificial intelligence is deeply embedded within Business Central, whether that be through cognitive intelligence or some of our machine learning capabilities, AI is there to be able to enhance user experience and help organizations through their business processes. So there's different ways organizations can extend the capabilities of Business Central, whether that be through APIs available today or utilizing some of the third-party apps that are available via App Source or building your connectivity with Office 365 or other Microsoft workloads. So the Power Platform is a low-code platform powered by Microsoft Azure, enabling your organization to do three key things. Analyze your data, create custom maps, and also create workflows to help you with efficient business processes. All of these three elements are incorporated within Business Central functionality. For those of you who have not seen Business Central before, this is the home page. And you see from the top here that core areas are easily accessible through this ribbon. So for example, the chart of accounts, bank accounts, vendors and purchase orders. As I scroll down, you start to see some of the analytics that are displayed on the home page. And in particular, these tiles here that show core information that is aligned to your role profile. Another area that I would like to show you is finance. So if I click on finance here, again, the drop down will show you the areas that are easily accessible. So for example, your journals, if you're going to post journals, your chart of accounts, all the way through here on the right hand side to your different bank accounts. But let me go back to the chart of accounts. By clicking on the chart of accounts, this is how your chart of accounts is displayed in Business Central. 
On the left hand side you have each one of your accounts in your general ledger and by clicking on any of these you're able to drill down to the underlying transactions that make up those balances. I wanted to give you a flavour of Business Central today, the look and the feel of it, by showing you the homepage and by showing you the chart of accounts. And now I'd like to hand over to Umar. Now I want to demonstrate some elements of functionality which really make Business Central stand out today. Organisations today spend approximately 40% of their time per week switching applications. Now with Business Central, you can actually create quotes, process orders and submit invoices without the need to leave the application utilizing its infusion with Microsoft Outlook. And I'll show you how. Now I received an email from a gentleman named Joe requesting a sales quote for two London swivel chairs and three Antwerp tables as quick as possible. Now I haven't worked with Joe in the past and I'm not sure whether my colleagues have either, but what I can do pretty seamlessly is click on the Business Central icon and identify whether we've transacted with Joe in the past. By clicking on Contact Insights, it informs you of whether we have work with Joe before and if so then what organization and as you can see the Adasim Corporation customer page has appeared with some financial history on whether we've transacted with this organization. As you can see there's an open balance of 3,600 and more importantly you want to be able to manage the financial well-being of that organization as well and what this shows me is that currently payments are not overdue. I'm also able to go to some tiles and be able to view any historic transactions, as well as any other financial information which will help me in understanding the history of this particular organization. Now, based on what I can see, I'm pretty happy to go ahead and create the sales quote. So I can click on new, sales quote. And what some of the cognitive intelligence capabilities within Business Central does, it identifies the items specified within the email to the products within our product catalog and maps the two together. As you can see, it says we think we found one or more items that match the text in the email. And it maps the items within Business Central to the product specified within the email, along with the quantity as well. So I'm happy with that information. I'm happy to go ahead. And as quickly and as seamlessly as that, we now have a sales quote created with the customer name flow through, as well as the appropriate contact and the due date. More importantly, within the line items, we have the two items specified and required for the sales quote, along with financial information such as what the cost for these two items are. I can then go ahead and review any, in, any other financial information that I wanted to, such as any specific currencies that I want to transact in, um, any other sort of payment services that I require, as well as billing or shipping details, depending on the type of transaction it is. So again, I'm happy to go ahead and proceed and send that sales quote back to the customer. Now that I'm able to email the sales quote back to the customer, I can also analyze it for myself. I can utilize some of the out of the box PDF capabilities that Business Central has, where I can review that the information I've specified is correct, such as the organization, the contact that requested this sales quote, as well as the document date and the salesperson. More importantly, I can analyze the two items that were specified within the sales quote, the quantity, and more importantly, the prices incorporating the VAT as this is a UK tenant that I'm demoing right now. So once I'm happy with all this information, I can go ahead and send this sales quote back to the customer. Now upon sending that sales quote back to the customer, we receive feedback shortly afterwards stating thank you for sending the quote across but after liaising with my colleagues we're hoping for a 10 percent discount now i'm happy to go ahead and proceed and create that transaction for joe and by doing so i can click on contact insights i can again review the open transactions i have with a datum corporation and click on some of the ongoing sales quotes i have as well now the most recent sales quote i created was 1006 now again with very little data input needed I can pretty easily and effectively click on new and then click on make invoice. What that does, it extracts all the information from the sales quote and creates a sales invoice based on the information already pre-populated. And again, within seconds, we now have a sales invoice that's been created. Information has flowed through such as the customer name, the contact, 
as well as the item information and its price. More importantly in this instance though, as Joe's requested a discount, I can provide a 10% invoicing discount for this customer. In a similar fashion to a sales code, I can then edit any invoicing details, any billing or shipping information, as well as any particular payment method as well. So I'm happy with the invoice, I've incorporated 10% discount. So now I wanna do two things. Not only do I want to send this um, invoice back to the customer via email, but I also wanna post it back into my general ledger so I'm compliant from a financial perspective. So I can go and post and send. So in a similar fashion to the sales code, I've emailed the sales invoice back to the customer with a predefined PDF template which again, I can preview. I'm able to analyze my invoicing information, such as the customer name, the address. More importantly, now that it's an invoice, I can view my payment terms, as well as the two items being sold with the final value. And again, as per the customer's request, I've incorporated a discount of 150 pounds based on the 10% discounting that I provided at the end of the invoice. So now that we've emailed the sales invoice back to the customer and we've posted the invoice into our general ledger, there's one final step, ensuring that our financial information has been updated efficiently. I can do that by checking on Business Central icon, clicking on Contact Insights, and then in a similar fashion to previously, being able to review a Datum Corporation's financial history. As you can see, the balance has been updated and if I click on the balance, I'm able to review all of the invoices that have been accumulated into the total amount of payment owed, and therefore giving me a detailed view of the historic transactions we've had with the Datum Corporation. And now over to you, Jill. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like to find out more about Business Central, then please get in touch.